So for some reason, in the new update, Rockstar have added in an Indian taxi. And I'm okay with it. So today, here we have the Dynasty. This is a rather interesting looking uh, Indian style taxi. I suppose this is, I, I don't know exactly because I haven't looked at any of the parts for this one. I like to keep these things a surprise generally. Uh, but I have a feeling that this might have some references to India in it. I would at least think so considering, well, I could be completely wrong. It's just that my first thought is Indian taxi when I look at this car right here. But one thing I will say is that for a car that looks sort of regular looking, it does not fit in with the landscape of LA or just California in general or Los Santos in general. It's a very strange car and it does stand out quite a lot. But let's just pull over somewhere. If it was a little bit dirty and dusty around here, I was trying to go for somewhere a little bit cleaner looking. It's actually quite a nice fitting background for this car. Although with the slow motion guy with the leaf blower, I might have to uh, dispose of him. Okay, fixed. So here we have the cool new dynasty. Let's just jump straight into menus mod and see what parts we have to check out on this thing. So on the spoiler options, this is interesting. We have spoilers for this thing. Actually, we, we should probably fix all the bullet holes. <laughs> so we have a GT wing. Um, we might have to ignore these names, but that's definitely not so much of a GT wing. That's very interesting though. We also have this one here. We have the duster. That's kind of classic looking. I can deal with that one. It's like a, a sun visor. Then we have the duster sports. And then we have the arched roof wing. This is very strange. <laughs> I don't know what the style is going to be. I might just go with the duster. So onto the front bumper. This is the stock front bumper. Then we have the magnum. Then we have the blade. Then we have the roadster. That looks kind of like the front. Oh no, it's a little bit thicker. Then we have the T-Bar, then we have the Bullet, that's kind of cool, that's very American style actually. And then we have the Power Ram. These are some interesting, I, this is the weirdest car we've seen in a while, but it's so cool. I love all this sort of stuff. I kind of think of like going for the Blade, I don't know why, just something about that is just, just, I don't know, sticking out to me. What have we got on the rear? Maybe we'll find a better rear one where we'll match on the front. So we have the stock, we have the Magnum, I do like the Magnum though. Then we have the blade. The blade does look cool. Then we have the roadster. We have the T-bar. We have the bullet. And we have the power ram rear. I'm just going to go for the blade front and rear for this build. Then for the skirts, this is actually going to be our mirrors. We have our stocks. We have our round chrome mirrors. We have these in painted and chrome. Then we have them on the fenders instead. Oh, that is a lot more classic. That's definitely the way to go. I think we should go for the fender chrome Square mirrors. Perfect. On the exhaust, we have the stock. We have the shell tip. Oh, that's kind of weird. Just sort of angles it down. That's very... I don't think I've ever seen an exhaust thing like that before. Very strange. Then we have the dual exhaust. Then we have the race exhaust. And then we have the titanium. I mean, this does not look like the sort of thing you would race, to be honest. So I, I might just keep that stock for this first build. I really don't know where this is going. Then on the grill, we have the stock. We have the radiator. Oh, this really changes the front end. Look at that. So we have that. Then we have the classic. We have the roadster. We have the chrome tooth. This is so weird. The classic bullet and then the king. Oh, the king is a winner. Look at that. That is so cool and classic. What have we got on the hood? We have the stuff. I like that we have all special names for these as well. So we have the Dart. We have the Vince GT. Uh, we I, I will make a racing GT one for the second one. We'll see how that goes. Then we have the racer one. And then we just have the cool air. I'm not sure. I wanted to go for like a classic style on this first one. So I guess the Dart is probably the one to go for. I'm sort of just making like a, a nice posh upmarket one. Then on the fenders, we have the stock. We have the Magnum Extended. This is down the bottom here. That's pretty interesting. That actually really changes the whole look. It goes from like 60s to 70s, just like that. Then we have the Blade Extended. We have the Roadster Extended. Okay, so we can definitely get some racing style things going out of this one. Okay, okay, I'm starting to see it. But for this one, I wanted to keep it classic, which means that it's going to end up looking like that. Until I just really like how it looks stock. I think that's what I'm finding out here. Then we have some green visors. We have meshed visors. Oh, they look nice. The classic visor, the vintage Fulton, which is really big. The vintage Carso, 
or the vintage pet cat. Oh, we've got to go for that one. Straight there. I think this one might might actually just be like a, a taxi style one. So then on the top, we have... Oh, look, it even has a taxi option. Do you know what? I'm not crazy. It, do it does look like a taxi. Right, so we have the stock. We have the mini roof rack. We have the large roof rack with the wood. Very posh. Then we have the extended roof rack. We have the taxi. Oh, see, that's more of a modern taxi. That wasn't really what I was thinking, to be quite honest with you. I was thinking something a little more dated looking. Then we have the road trip. We have the touring. And then we have the vacation one. The vacation one has some modern suitcases there, perhaps not suited. Okay, I'm not going to go for the taxi look then, perhaps, because I'm not too sure on that modern look. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to go for it and just make it like a modern-ish version of an old taxi. So on the liveries, I can spot a taxi one there. Okay, so we have racer number 21 with these stripes on one side. Then we have the racer 05. I like that we also add them to these visors as well. That's very cool. There we go. Then we have racer number 29. This is, again, I keep saying this, but this is so weird of a build. There we go. Look at that proper old school taxi. This is what I mean. Look, it's old, it's battered. But then you get like this modern taxi bit at the top, which just to me, it just doesn't fit in that well. It needs something a bit more old looking. Then we have the flames. Then we have some more flames. We have the speedy. Very cool. Then we have the crosshatch. This is getting very abstract now. The Surge, what a strange design. <laughs> and then we have the Horn OK Please. Again, definitely I'm gonna say Indian inspired that one. Very, very strange, but very cool, very colorful. Well, I think for this one, I'm gonna go for the taxi one. I'm gonna make this an old dilapidated taxi, even if it has got like these posh bumpers and grills and stuff. So the taxis in India are usually, they have like this stripe going down here and they're usually like black or yellow, I think. So if we just go down to paints here, we'll see what we look like with the, uh, let's go for matte actually, matte black. Just so it makes it look a little bit more aged. So we either have that one, we also have the secondary color that we can change at the top there. So we can have that secondary color as yellow. So actually if we go to utility, I think it is, isn't there a taxi yellow somewhere? There we go, taxi yellow in worn. Ah, see, there we go. Look, we have that on the top. We have the black on the bottom. If we get a primary color and worn, we can go for warm black. Yeah, there we go. That is proper taxi-like. Although, I'd say that they definitely don't have these really nice bumpers and grills and stuff. We'd have to go back to stock, I think. And I think the taxis would actually have maybe like the Roadster-style one, actually. Front and back, just like those old-style ones right there. See, that suits it perfectly. Look at that. And then we'll go for some old star wheels for this one. We'll just go for like that right there. Just some like, just some steel wheel style ones. And that is our build completed. It's a shame about the top taxi bit. It's, it, it would have been a lot better if we could have had an older, simpler style taxi light instead of having this big, massive advertisement on the top with all the modern advertising. It would have looked a lot better as just an old, like uh, a discontinued taxi. Actually, to be honest, India still has taxis like this, so just would have been cool without that bit at the top that makes it look a bit too American. But I think that that is a winner right there as an Indian taxi. We could also make the whole thing yellow as well. If you perhaps don't like how this looks with the black, we'll just go for full taxi yellow. And then we have our full yellow version. There we go, right there. Right, I'm going to make a racing style one now. I'm gonna make it super modern paint, super modern wheels with all of the racing stuff on it. Let's see how we go. I mean, actually, before we do that, I figured I'd make this look a bit more realistic. We need some sort of, like, scrape marks and scratches and little bumps and broken bits on this one, like a bumper hanging down. Now we're looking a bit more realistic. It's a shame that we can't really go fast enough to get any real damage for this one. Man, this thing is built like a tank. This is really hard to destroy. Hang on, let's make it a bit better. There we go. Let's knock one of those lights out. Bumpers hanging, glass removed, scratches, dents. Perfect. Right, let's try the super modern ultra racing one. Okay, so here we are done with the final thing. I've got to say that I was actually so excited to modify this that we didn't even look at the interior. So here you go. Here's the interior. Actually looks pretty cool. Very, very open and wide here. There's definitely not much protection between you and whoever crashes into you. Now, you might be spotting that this is red in here. That's because I have made it look like this. <laughs> I've gone for a resto mod racer style. I've gone for this big, massive front end like that. 
I've gone for the racer grill. I went for these um, bumpers as I think they look pretty nice, pretty racery. Went for the racer uh, exhausts as well. Went for this spoiler. Went for a nice modern flip paint. Went for tinted windows. Went for the mesh on the front just so it gives a bit of like airflow. And we've also gone for those painted mirrors on the front. And you might be able to tell if we just go ahead and start driving here. This is not your usual dynasty. I have decided to put the Sultan RS sound on this one and would you believe, even though this is still incredibly slow, that this is actually 15 times the horsepower multiplier and 5 times on the torque. This thing still incredibly slow. <laughs> I might have to make that a little bit faster I think. I was expecting it to go a little quicker, I will be honest. 25 horsepower. We should now get a nice amount of wheel spin going on. There we go. That's okay. That's perhaps a bit too much. <laughs> I've just now lost control. I actually think this thing doesn't look too bad when it's modified like this. It looks like it kind of looks like an American car, but not at the same time like a small shrunken American car. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Well, there we go. There is the dynasty. Two completely different builds on the same car. I want you guys to let me know what you think about those two builds in the comment section below. Which one is your favourite? You oh, and there we go. That was terrible. And now I've completely ruined that front end. Yeah, that's looking a little bit dented. If you have watched all the way to the end of this video, I want you to say... Just say gas. There we go. Just say gas in the comment section below if you have watched all the way to the end of this video. If you want to watch me play some Minecraft, I have a new, well it's not a new Minecraft channel, it's my old channel, I'm just posting on it again. My original YouTube channel before this one even existed, I'm now posting some Minecraft again, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Otherwise there is more DLC stuff com coming up very soon, there's still loads more amazing cars to check out. But that's it, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!